Good morning, my name is Christina with Infinity of Denver. Today we're looking at a 2018 QX60, packaged the way that I personally would buy the car. This car has a driver's assistance package, the premium plus and the premium package. Um, it's got a lot going on. Under the hood you've got a 3.5 liter V6 direct injection engine, puts out 295 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. The car does have an intelligent all-wheel drive on it and a CVT transmission and a lot of other things going on with it. On the outside you've got um, UV reducing solar glass with rear privacy glass. You've got um, LED front fog lights and auto on and off high intensity discharge bifunctional xenon headlights as well. You've got a front camera here on the emblem and then of course front sonar as well. Car's got an overall very attractive look on the outside. You have of course um, some awesome 18 inch um, aluminum alloy wheels. You've got an integrated turn signal on your rear view mirror with a camera underneath. These are heated outside mirrors as well. Got an overall uh, nice look with the chrome accents all throughout the car. Let's go ahead and let's hop in the inside of the car. You of course have power seats with a power lumbar support. You have lighted um, kick plates as well. You've got one touch for every single one of your windows as well as memory seats which also control your memory steering wheel and memory mirrors as well. On the steering wheel you've got controls for quite a few things, your Bluetooth phone. This voice control actually controls your speaker system, so your audio system. It controls your climate and your navigation as well. And you on the right side have some of your safety features. So you've got your safety shield, your intelligent cruise control, and your distance control assist, which basically allows you to choose one, two, or three car lengths between you and the car in front of you. And this one does have the upgraded Bose speaker system. You've got navigation, as you can see here. Let's see. You, of course, have AM, FM radio, and Sirius XM radio. Um, this car has backup collision intervention, so when you're backing up, it will go ahead and brake for you um, if it sees that you're coming up to something that you don't see, but the car does. Your outside mirrors are actually automatic dimming as well. This mirror dims and has home link connectivity on it. You've got an SOS button and of course interior lighting and a sunroof that's one touch to open and tilt as well. Beautiful comfortable seats with contrast piping which adds to the intrigue of the look of the car. You've got heated seats and different modes for your car so whether you need to be in standard you want a little bit more power and pep with your sport. You want better gas mileage or you need to get around in the snowy Colorado weather. You've got a manual mode, so if you put the car into drive, slide it over, you can see you've got a plus and a minus. So you can change the gear ratios manually yourself. You've got 13 speakers with your Bose speaker system, so they're all over the car. You've got your blind spot monitor just here and another speaker up here. Um, Tri-zone climate control, so you, your passenger, and the back of the car can all have different climate control options. You've got a power steering wheel which tilts and telescopes. You've got a heated steering wheel, your sonar, your power lift gate, and of course your traction control. Got quite a bit in here. Um, what else are we looking at? Um, you of course have another charger down here. You've got a velvet lined um, interior box here for your center console, another charger, auxiliary, and then of two, of course, two USB ports. And then opening up your upper, you've got still felt lined and another place where you can put your things. In the back, you've got a seat where you can put a car seat without taking it out. You can get into the back seat. 
you can slide your seats. So as you can see, these two seats are, one's a little bit closer. So if you needed to reach your little ones in the back seat, you could do so a little bit more easily. And it also allows the people in the third row to have a little bit more space. There you can see your second row. You've got an entry and exit assist, which means that your steering wheel will lift up. Your seat will move back as you get in and out of the car. Find it very convenient. Your outside mirrors actually tilt down when you put the car into reverse. And you still have roof of rails on the top outside of the car. And let's go ahead and look into the back seat of the car. As you can see, we've got the seat moved up. You can continue to um, fold it up and flat to move it forward and out of the way. So that way you've got a lot more room to get into the back seat of the car. Something that Infinity has is these little latches so you can put your seatbelt out of the way. That way you're not fighting them when you get in and out of the car. Of course, there you've got your second row or your third row rather with one is folded down so you can see the cargo space that you would have access to. You've got cup holders and chargers in the third row as well. There you've got your second row. You've got um, air conditioning here in the back and another charging port. And there you can see the whole front of the car. One of the really cool things about this car is the power lift gate. You've still got sonar on the back of the car and of course your camera. You can actually adjust the height that the car opens up to as you can see. You've got considerable space in the back of the car when you put the seats down. There's your subwoofer for your Bose system and extra storage underneath. Got another charging port back here. If you have any other questions, my name is Christina. Please do let me know, and I'm happy to answer your questions about the QX60.